Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, uh, today I want to show you this game called Chrono Cross. If you haven't if you haven't played this game and if you don't know about this game, oh man, you're missing out. <laughs> uh, but this is the reason why I wanted to uh, make a video on it because um, I think this is one of like the greatest uh, uh, Japanese RPGs like ever. Uh, and so, yeah, I mean, it's 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 one of those, and this is the remastered version of it that came out not too long ago. So I wanted to take a like uh, uh, just uh, just a look at it and uh, and play it together with you guys. Um, I know that some people uh, very close to me uh, they haven't seen it, you know, some of my family members and things like that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this is for all of you guys, too. Uh, so, yeah, uh, let's, let's get into it, shall we? Let's see. Uh, vibration, I want it off because I'm not a huge fan of it. Okay. Uh, no random battles. Battle boost, okay. Oh, so all this is kind of new to the game. Uh, you can fast forward the game and all that stuff. And also you can... Um, you can at least this is a huge deal for some people and you basically get to um enable random battles so uh for me it's not that big a deal but um i guess if it if it gets to be annoying uh uh i guess you could just disable it uh but yeah let's see um not a keyboard nope because i'm playing with a uh, with a gamepad okay and then we get to pick our name but i'll leave it just as this uh, what's actually really cool is that they re they remade all the portraits for the characters, so that's very nice as well. Uh, but yeah, this game came originally on the PS1, and I still remember to this day very vividly. I remember how, uh, like, like my first encounter to, uh, with this game. I remember like being on vacation and we went uh, to a store, and I remember exactly how I played it. I played it on a TV, and I put the TV on on the floor and the floor had a carpet and we were uh at a at a, a family's at a friend's family uh house and basically instead of going out and going to the beach and doing all that stuff i stayed in and i closed everything just to play this game because uh but i didn't know anything about it at the time so uh that's actually kind of uh like it, it just caught me so by surprise you know what i mean like it was one of those games that, um, that you know, back then I just I didn't read magazines or anything. Like there was no internet either, uh, and so yeah, I just I basically just stumbled upon it. You know, and I think games like these they basically changed my life and my perspective on, um, I guess just you know time and fate and all these things that the game touches. And sure, it's also like. An RPG and it's 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 a you know fantasy story and all that but uh, it, I think it's pretty cool but uh, yeah let's see what is it Zerge uh, I don't know how it's pronounced actually because I always read it but I, I, I don't know how to pronounce that name so forgive me if I say it kind of weird but he says you look troubled uh, this is it there's no turning back now oh wait come on Serge Ben okay I guess we're going just you wait, Lynx. Uh, she, actually, she speaks really weird. Uh, today's gonna be the day of reckoning. Say your prayers, not that it'll do you any good. Okay, so she's coming for it. Okay, uh, <laughs> she's going crazy. Okay, I'm going. Alright, let's go. Um, I heard that actually some people complain about the frame rate in this game, uh, and to me it doesn't look that bad. I can see how like it's a little choppy, you know. Uh, but I don't know, maybe it's just on PC that it's that, that, it's that way. Um, but yeah, this is also one of those games where like it has a very uh, different uh, approach to leveling uh, than other games. So, uh, in other games, you basically do random battles, and then every time that you kill an enemy, you will get experience, and then you level up, right? So, if you played any RPG, basically, they all go somewhat like that. 
but in this game you will get like after a battle you will get a little bit of stats and then after you just stay in a place for a very long time for for a little bit like let's say five or six battles you you stop gaining stats like you get nothing you get no experience like you get nothing you know um, and so yeah the only way to actually level up in this game is to kill bosses and so that's why I think they decided to remove the random battles because like if you're not getting anything then what's the point of it right um, and so I, I I understand like the idea behind it um, like back then I didn't know what the hell I was doing as a matter of fact the first time I played this game I didn't even know English like you know because my main language is my native language is Spanish um, and so I had no idea like what the hell they were saying or anything so <laughs> I mean go figure right but that was like 20 something years ago no, I think it was 20 years ago, something like that. Uh, but yeah, uh, what the bloody hell just happened? I mean, that's that was pretty cool. What are we doing out here? Yeah, I remember this scene just blew my mind. And for today's uh, graphics, this is bare, like this. It's just garbage, you know. But uh, but I think I think it, it still holds a little bit of charm as well. Um, and this is actually like somewhat like a, I guess like a, a, it's not really a sequel to Chrono Trigger, to be honest. Uh, but it does have like, like if you played Chrono Trigger, it has a little bit of that in this game. So, uh, we're so high up. Is this thing floating? I mean, yeah, that's, did it feel like your body passed through the floor just now? It really did. This sure, this sure is some fort. Uh, what? You're right, mate. You've been acting all weird. We don't know what's up ahead, so just stay on your toes, huh? All right, yeah. Okie dokie. Let's open the door. Now that's something crazy. <laughs> yeah, those cutscenes, they look insanely real, like back then, you know. Uh, but yeah, to, for today's standards, it's just, it's ridiculous. Come on, sleepyhead, get up, okay? So... Alright, so I guess we were, we were dreaming that? I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm actually so excited to uh, to record this and to actually show you guys this. It's it's super um, like this game. It holds a very uh, special place in my heart. Like just the music, dude. Like I mean, just take a listen to this. Ugh, so good. Morning, search. Uh, you you're finally up. The sun's already reached high noon. By the way, didn't you have plans to meet up uh, to meet with Lena this morning? Lena came by to see if you were up, but you were, but you, young man, were still off in never in never Neverland. You shouldn't break promises like that. Girls can be pretty scary if you make them angry. Okay, mom. Uh, that's I guess that's our mom. Man, just, I think they don't make games like these anymore, like with, with, uh, and I think seriously, like, the music is something in this game that it's, it, it, it enchants just like the game so much, especially back then, because like these graphics, they were like, like, like super epic, you know, back then. Um, so that coupled with the music, it was great. But nowadays, like, I guess 
the music holds up, but the graphics don't really. You're late, Serge. Slipping in as usual, I suppose. So I guess this is Lena, our friend. You promised you'd go. Uh, you'd go get some Komodo, Komodo scale, the uh, dragon scales for my necklace. Remember, since you were late, my mom asked me to babysit the kids. Whoa, oh, Serge, Lena, look at me. Oh, so the little kids. This blew my mind as well. Like, you know, <laughs> and now we have like realistic water in games. It's crazy. Come on, you guys! You guys should should join us. Uh, it feels really good. Unlike the rest of you, we're not here to play. Don't swim out too far now. Okay, gotcha. Kids, sh uh, kids sure have it easy. Remember when we were like that? Not a single care or worry in our minds. On our minds, how each day lasted an eternity filled with newness, fun, and excitement. The important thing now is not our childhood, but my Komodo scale necklace. Yes, we have to face up to reality and live each day anew. True that. So I want you to go to Lizard Rock and get some scales for me. I will join you, but I still have to watch the kids. It's your fault, you were late. Once you collect some Komodo dragon scales, I'll catch up with you at Opasa Beach. Is that okay with you, Serge? Uh, I don't know, like, you know, back then, like, having choices, it was pretty cool. But, like, then I realized that if you put no, the game just, it's in a loop, and it's like, whatever, because you gotta say yes, so. <laughs> if you play games like these, you're probably familiar with that. Good, that's what I wanted to hear. Yep. Yeah. Okay, then, don't just stand around. Go collect some scales at, at Lesser Rock. Let's see, I think three should be enough. Good luck, Serge. I'm counting on you. All right. What's that old man doing? Oh, oh. We woke him up. It's you, Serge. Beautiful day, huh? You caught me dozing out there. Uh, by the way, Serge, do you like the sea? Yes. Oh, really? Yeah, the sea sure is great. But just remember, Serge, don't take it too lightly. Usually you'll find the sea to be vast, deep, full of strength and energy, yet kind and gentle. But once it becomes angry, it can turn into the most frightening monster you've ever seen, engulfing everything. Close your eyes and prick, and prick up your ears. Can you hear the cries of con countless men swallowed by the sea? The hidden secret the sea whispers. Yo, that's that's um, that got dark real fast. I recommend you to learn the sense. Uh, I recommend you to to. I recommend you learn to sense the mood of the sea. That's it. That's if you don't want to join the fellows already on the bottom. Woof. Jesus. But I mean, it is true. Okay. Let's go to Opa uh, not Opasa Beach. Uh, Lizard Rock. Okay. You hearing that music? Ah. Every place has its own music, and I think that's so charming too, you know? Um, but the music is super memorable, at least for me, it's super, super good. Okay, let's push this out of the way. Zing! All oh, right, I remember this, this bugger. Okay. Oh, I got you. <laughs> and so this is the battle system. It's actually very simple, I would say. Um, but it has its intricacies too. Yeah, the game never looked this this good. You know? um, so... Okay, so you have three types of attacks. Uh, one of them is like very light. It does low damage, but it has like... Um, a high percentage of, uh, of being able to connect and then you have like a medium attack and then you have a very strong attack let's see oof that's the strong attack 
and then you have stamina. So, um, stamina is a little weird in this game, uh, but like once you run out of stamina, basically your turn is over, but you can actually uh, spend more stamina than, the, than what you got, you know, and then the next turn uh, will be delayed, you know, basically. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you can basically do, like, a, you know, let's say two combos of, like, melee attacks and then throw magic, and that'll put you to, to minus stamina, and then the enemy might have two hits on you, you know, or three hits on you. Uh, but yeah, we got plus three HP, that's basically how you level in this game. Sometimes you will, sometimes you don't, most times you don't, so. That's why the only way to level, like I said before, is getting stars, and those stars, you only get them with uh, fighting bosses. And bosses are actually, like, counted in this game. So, it's a very odd system, I don't know why they did like this. He stored it away safely. I d it didn't say that, but that's how I read it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, oh, come here. Get back here. Get back here. <laughs> come here. Come here. There you go. <laughs> we got him. Okay. Let's get those Komodo pups. Oh. Oh, oh, what? How did I miss three times in a row? That's some bullshit. Oh, he just pecked me. The nerve. Get it. Yo, I'm getting wrecked. Okay, let's do this. Fast forward a little bit. Yeah, had to risk it all. Actually, I'm not a huge fan of the metal attack because every time that I use it, most of the times it misses. But then, if I use the strong attack, the one that has lower chance, it usually connects, which is very weird. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, element. Uh, maybe cure? I don't know. No, for now, I'll just defend. Yeah, you got nothing, fool. Oof, he got wrecked. Oh, plus three HP. And then also, if you have uh, remaining stamina, and and you have like uh, set up healing spells, which I'll explain in a little bit, uh, you can actually heal with, uh, after battle, which is pretty useful. Okay, so we got two scales. We gotta get the last one. Actually, let me see if I can get some of these treasure chests. Uh huh. Oh, it was it was in it was a trap? An ivory helmet. Okay. Let's. Uh, how do we? How do we equip it? There you go. Ivory helmet, made out of bone. Uh, so we get more defense and more magic defense. Okay, I'll take it. And now we gotta fight this fool. Get out of here. Okay, and for this last one, we have to jump on top of them. So, let's see. Okay, press A to jump. Let's see, let's time it right. Yeah! Oh, what? Man, that's some bullshit. Okay, let's do it again. I can't believe it. Okay, okay, okay. We got a timer right. Yeah, that's right. Okay, you little freak. <laughs>
Yeah, that's right. Oh, damn. <laughs> Look at the big mama. I feel kind of bad for these things. Like, and for what? A damn necklace. You got wrecked. Eleven damage. Damn. She'd be hidden like a truck. You know what? Oh. 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 That's it. Okay. I mean, well, better. It better go down, because I think they have a lot of damage. So, yeah, see? Uh, now we got our first star. So, whenever you get a star, like I said, you get a boost in most of your stats. So, for example, right now, I was, like, incredibly unlucky. I only got strength and HP. But, uh, yeah, it just kind of sucks. But it's kind of random, so... Okay. So, we got the three skills. Now we got a health... We got a head for Opasa Beach. And that is to the left, I think. Alright, we can go through here. So we'll go here like this. Yeah. So the fast forward button is like an epic function. Like I think it's so useful. And now there's also an autosave feature. So they're super useful features. Um but yeah, the fast forward button, it was actually also on the original game, but you had to finish the game first. So that's a that's a huge drag. But the game is actually meant to be played multiple times. And I'll, I'm, I, I'll explain later. But let's see. There you are. Sorry I'm late. I hope you didn't wait too long, Serge. I mean, I just got here, but, uh... Well, how'd it go? Uh, did you get the Komodo Dragon skills? Oh, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. I'll be able to make a great necklace with these. Thank you, Serge. It sure has been a long time since we last came here. We used to come so often. The sea never changes, does it? It's been rolling in and out like this since long before we were born. It's been here for eternity, it seems. It's probably seen many things, heard many things. It'll, prob it'll probably keep rolling in and out, in and out, long after our lifetime, without a single change. That's true. And it's very crazy to think about. Hey, Serge. Remember that time we sat and talked like this back when we were kids? With the gentle sea breeze and the tranquil sound of the waves? Just the two of us talking? Mm -hmm. Do you still remember that day? I don't remember. That's, that's such a bullshit. I remember. I guess I do. I mean, I do. Because I remember when I was a kid and I played the game. And this already happened, maybe? I don't know. Really, you do? So you haven't forgotten about the promise we made that day? That makes me happy. But aren't memories strange? Just when you think that you've forgotten about something, it comes floating back into your heart. I guess it's just lying there in wait, waiting for the right moment. Why? We might even remember this very moment someday, in 10, 20 years. Isn't it weird that I'm, like, I'm actually, like, um, I guess, reliving this moment, you know, 20 years, kind of like what she's saying, and I'm actually playing it again, but I'm remembering also exactly how this happened. 
uh, but it's also true about life, like how, like sometimes like a memory pops up in in your head um, after like a very long time. But she says, uh, in ten, twenty years, when we are all grown up and married and have kids that are kids of our own. When that time comes, I wonder what kind of adults we will be. What kind of life will I be leading? I wonder what, what I'll make of this day. We'll forget eventually. We'll never forget this day. I mean, isn't it obvious? Yeah, I hope you're right. Um, Serge, there's something I've been wanting to... Huh? There was, a, there was another text there. Uh, what? What's wrong, Serge? Serge? Okay, what just happened? What are you doing there, boy? It's dangerous to sleep out here. To sleep? What do you mean? What am I doing here? Yo, right boy, what on earth are you doing li lying down anyway? Um, for a second there, I thought you might be, you might have been a dead body washed ashore. I'm not dead, I think. <laughs> huh, where's Lena? You were the only one I saw when I got here. Are you a friend of Lena's? I believe she's in the village babysitting. Wait, what? She just left us? Now that's crazy. <laughs> well, I'd best be on my way. Anyway, if you're looking for Lena, you should stop by the village. You know, you shouldn't be playing out here, boy. Wouldn't want anything to happen to you now. Okay. He's got a Komodo pet, doesn't he? Okay, let's, let's go to the village. Ask Lena what happened. What the hell? Passa Beach, danger, keep out. Okay. Was that always there? Mm. Did you see that monster? He did exactly the same as we did to him before. Now that's some crazy stuff. Now I want you to bask in this music right here. Mm. So fucking epic. <laughs> this is my favorite soundtrack in the whole game. As a matter of fact, like I, I used to like not want to go into places and just stay in this world map because of the music. <laughs> Can you believe that? Ugh, that music is so good. Okay. Alright. 
Let's go see Lena. Okay, Jesus. They're crazy. Okay. Who are you? Okay. Now that's weird. Have we met somewhere before? Are you from Termina? Hey, yeah, you. Don't be trying to pull any moves on Arlena, you jerk. Okay. Don't be silly. Don't go out. Uh, don't go swimming out too far now, you hear? Okay, gotcha. Okay, did we just... What? What? No, that's... that's... Kids. I guess kids will be kids. Don't worry about them. Um, you know, you look a lot like the boy who used to live next door to me. What was his name or what happened to him? I guess I'll ask his, his name? What was his name? Uh, why? Why do you want to know his name? That boy died. He drowned when he was very young. This all happened 10 years ago. Soon after, his mother passed away too. I was still very young back then, so I don't remember too well, but my mom says his name was... Serge. Okay, now that got super weird, huh? That's nonsense. Why would I lie about something like that? Do you think I'm so cruel as to make something like that up? That boy, I guess I kinda liked him. If that boy were still alive today, I wonder what would have become of us. Sure is weird. Why am I opening up like why am I opening up, uh, opening up to you like this? Well, I guess there's no use thinking about the past. It's not that like, it's not like Serge is going to come back. Mom always told me uh, Mom always tells me I shouldn't dwell on lost loved ones. You can find his grave up on Cape Howe. Actually, why don't you go visit the gravesite? No one's been up there in a while. Well, I still have some chores to finish. Sorry I blew up at you like that. Goodbye, stranger. <gasps> Guys, can you believe that? What the hell just happened? Right? Okay. So, um... Let's see. I want to show you this. This was our home, if you remember from the beginning. Okay, this was a room. Doesn't look anything like it. What are you doing here, man? This is my island. Uh, well, I'll let you rest here for a while, for a little while, man. So you want to rest, man? Yes, please. Have a good night, man. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> That'll be exactly 10, uh, uh, 100 gold. Uh, didn't I let you rest here? Quit complaining, man. He charged me. What? All right, what the hell? Oh. Uh, uh, who the? What are you doing in my house? My house isn't a playground for you kids, all right? Go play outside. Uh, who, Marge? Who the heck is that? I've lived in this house for five years now. Sorry, that name doesn't ring a bell. Whatever with all your gibberish, man. Just get out of here. Nope, oh, Jesus. What the hell just happened, right, guys? Okay. Anyways, guys, um, I guess that'll be it for this episode. Did you find did you find this uh, this game intriguing? Do you like it? Uh, if you like it, give me a like. And uh, yeah, in the next episode, I might continue this game or might make something new. <laughs> I guess it'll be a surprise. Uh, but yeah, it, do let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this game or more some of something else. And yeah, maybe if you have any suggestions of games to play. So I'll appreciate it. I'll appreciate it if you do. Uh, but yeah, until next time, guys, take care. Bye bye.